We are going to get food. We have a reservation. We legally got into a... But they didn't even ask us about a reservation. Yeah. I was we're like, so we're glad just going you're to here, food. though. Yeah, we daily vlog. Come back tomorrow. Um, guess where we're going? Can you tell by the greenery in the background? I'm gonna t I'm gonna give you a hint. It starts with bread and ends with service. service! Um, I knew this existed, but I forgot it existed. I never knew that there was a parking garage. And I've never been in here before. At Katani Village. And I'm kind of appalled. Why? I don't know. We found a spot. Look at that, we got zebras, we got inkoi cattle, whatever these freaky birds are, being suspicious. Keep on hopping around. Yeah, like that one over there is trying to fight the bush or eat it, I can't tell. It is gorgeous out. I'm gonna go on a run tonight. We're gonna enjoy some nighttime safari people over here. We're going to Sanaa. We were on the verge of being hangry and driving like an hour to eat something that we weren't even sure about. Yeah, and then- We were gonna go to Winter Park just which, for dinner. But I was like, I need something quick, but I didn't want Tijuana Flats or Taco Bell. So. So we're doing bread service at Sanaa. Maybe get a couple other things. I saw some coconut roasted vegetables and stuff. Some two foodie ice we were cream. Gonna, we were gonna maybe do something at the Mara because they have falafel. But we forgot but that's in a different building. If we're right, because Sana has the bread service and it's in Kadani Village, but the Mara, the quick service for Animal Kingdom Lodge, is in Jumbo House. So we're gonna just check it out, see how it feels. Yeah, and the baby two teenage giraffes are hanging out over there, but we we missed them. You might have seen them in the time lapse if. I'm not sure if we they got it. right at the beginning. Yeah, so rewind if you missed it. Oh, the bird's on top of the block. Oh, when did he get up there? He's like the the walruses in Finding Dory. Walruses, or are they? Otters? Put a comment down below with those defensive yeah. things. Sea lions, I think they're sea lions in Finding Dory. And if you could hear the drums going, we got some cultural representative. So do you know our friend James, the husband of our friend Jill, who we just went to go see the some shows with? He worked here on an ICP and that's what he did for like one of his like fun like magic making moments. He would go grab a pair of bongos at Because he's from Africa. Yes. Mm -hmm. Um and play bongos like that. Or and, drums. Like, just be like a like answer questions or talk to people or anything. Isn't that cool? I don't even know where we're going. I've Have only been, been in this building one other time, and we went to Sanaa before. I spilled yeah. juice all over me. Yeah. But that's the only other time I've ever been in this building. Yeah, let's go. It's downstairs. Oh. Here we go. Ooh, the lounge is up until midnight? It's, is it because this is a re resort? It's a DVC resort. I know, and it smells like Wilderness Lodge it up in like here. I asked Sarah, I said, should we go online and see if there's like a one night available? Oh, we have to call member service and be like, do you got a one night available? For like <laughs> six points maybe? Come on. So pretty here. It's so pretty. It's like definitely like a smaller version of Dombo House. But it's beautiful. But it's kind of cozy. I love it. There's rocking chairs out here. Yes, it is literally the most beautiful night in about three to five months. It was a really nice last night. I know, but this is, like the sun's still up, so like when the sun set later, it's gonna be even more beautiful. I'm gonna go and run tonight outside, not even on the treadmill. Zebra. I see giraffes and an ostrich. It's like the giraffes are like chasing the ostrich. <laughs> Or is the ostrich leading the giraffe? To the lions. Oh gosh, it's bending down. It's gonna get him. Do you remember when an ostrich or a giraffe came to, near our window? A giraffe? Yeah, when we stayed here. Near our window? Yeah, because we were like over there. We were like secretly booked. I remember when an alpaca came by our window at that crazy zoo in Missouri. <laughs> in our car. Remember? That was not okay. Oh, you ready? It's time, 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 it's time. We've got our wine menu over there. And this 
What's the menu? Look at this deliciousness. All right, so here's the menu. And it's kind of cool, I didn't even realize this, but underneath the, the Poti inspired, all of the harvest are plant-based. So we could get like anything from here. There's a couple other options. There is a really heavy meat presence, but what? There's samosas, which is what we had from the farmer's market and what we had at Trails End. Yes. They have those. It says plant-based at the, like the lounge, so they might be able to give us those. I think so. Just brought us the allergy-friendly dinner menu, but I need to look at the drinks because I think I might get a little African-inspired beer. But I'll take a look at this in just a second. So this is cool. The menu actually has a glossary. If you're unsure of the different words it uses. Another cool thing besides the samosas being at the lounge, you can get the bread service and the salad sampler and other items. And you don't need, for the lounge, you don't need a um, preservation. This is made from the toe jam of an elephant. <laughs> Stop rubbing it. <laughs> it's called Old Elephant IPA. I have no idea any context about taste, it. Taste, test, taste, test, taste. Ooh, it's very, it's very IPA-ish. It's very hoppy and I love it. All right, our bread service came. So we've got the special naan. It's just the allergy yeah. gluten-free. Most of it has yogurt in it. Every kind has yogurt except for yeah. this one. So that's so what we got. So we got have. that. And then here's the sauces. Sweetest, all the way around to the hottest, nice. and the only there's only one thing that we can't have because there's yogurt in it. Yeah. But they replaced it. The spiciest one they have that used to be a part of the bread service, but they took it out because it's too spicy. And it's that one right there, and I'm gonna eat a whole spoonful just straight in my mouth. So Let's dig in. So my go-to technique is rip it up into pieces like this. This will probably be two for me, and I'm gonna spoon out what I want and then try it because we only get five of these these nouns. We might be able to ask for more, but we're just not sure yet. But I'm gonna go middle ground to so this like garlic, and then I'm gonna go sweet, and then my third one's gonna be the, the hottest. But right here's so it goes to the sweetest, the mango, chutney looking one. This is gonna be the greasiest camera after this dinner. So good. This I want a whole tub of. The jalapeno. <laughs> Got a kick so after good. It's but it reminds me of my favorite wooded wine dish, the beef yeah. and jalapeno and pap in Africa. I'm about to do the hottest one. All right, I gotta cleanse my palate. <laughs> Here's a close-up of it. Cleansing your palate with a beer. Yeah. Oh, it's like a paste. If that third one was hot, this one's gonna be super hot. I'm just going all in. All right, you ready? She asked if we were brave spicy eaters. Good flavor? It's cooler. The burn comes after. Yummy? It tastes like it's a it's a burn. It's really tasty. It tastes like the burn is from like straight pepper seeds. <laughs> I'm salivating a lot. It's not as bad as I thought. I do have a real good tolerance. Not like an amazing tolerance, but a good tolerance to heat. It's a really good flavor. I think you're gonna like it a lot. Here's the salad sampler. There's black eyed peas, watermelon, and then what was your last one? I don't remember. I forget. And here are the samosas. So they it look, comes with two. They look baked. Aren't they usually fried? Um, the they're usually had? baked. Or, okay. or they're, they could be either or, but it has the mango chutney too. Yes, but that looks like a slaw. Okay. Yeah. It looks delicious. Clean Slates Club. You still got a lot left, to eat, mister. <laughs> I do know that I like the other bread. More, yeah. But More. this bread's delicious still. The bread was like just a vehicle for the sauces, I felt. I felt it had good flavor. I don't think the good flavor was as important. No, but it had the, flavor. Yeah, but like it felt more like a vehicle where the other bread feels like a part of the equation. <laughs> it's true! Get that eyebrow out of here. You can only do the one side. <laughs> Don't tell anybody. Oh, look how even gorgeous it looks at night.
Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog here. Sarah's extra frigid. And that was such a good meal. I love this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh my gosh, look at those glass little tentacles. Ooh. I love when a Disney meal is such good quality, so delicious, and you don't feel absolutely sick afterwards. Like, it's such good quality that I feel great after eating it. Yeah. But look at these weird tentacles. Weird tentacles, weird tentacles. What a beautiful lobby. And the world's smallest gift shop is over there. Should we go take a peek? Yeah. This gift shop just redeemed itself to Peter because you can get the bread oh. service. I need this mug. I could easily drop $300 in this gift shop and I used to hate it. <laughs> it's, um, it's like $80. $80. For like but it comes set. with the recipes, the little bowls, and the wood board. This is also really cute. You need this canteen. I need this coffee scoop. Okay, this just keeps getting better and better. They have zebra ones. We can't eat them, but they're here for the rest of the world to enjoy. And guys, I love bologna. No, I'm all about this. Eat some lots of small pan. I can eat the whole thing right now. No, bites. bologna. Okay, you eat the bologna. I'll eat the turkey, the deli, and the ham, and the lunchables. Oh god. And the cheese wheels. Ooh, and I just love a good. <laughs> I would be so sick. Guys, little naive me comes over to the pop tarts. I'm like, I wish that pop tarts were one of those things that were like, didn't really have milk and didn't have eggs and like were like secretly vegan. Contains. Wheat and soy. Wheat, but no wheat and milk. soy. I just looked it up on the PETA website and three three Pop Tarts are vegan. Brown cinnamon sugar, mm. our fave. Oh. Strawberry and blueberry. <gasps> That's gonna become our new bread and butter. No, it's not. But it's like a, a new, like, vegan Tr junk secret food. treat, yeah. Took a treat. Sneaky sneak. Sneaky sneak. All I'd like to say is this is one of the best resorts. There's also in jail. Guys, I also had my picture taken at dinner. <laughs> she did have a picture taken at dinner. Like a boy in. <laughs> but it was like a she little was like six years It was old. a little kid. And she was having fun with like I, I saw her I mean so I was obviously looking at her as much as she was looking at me. But she was like doing like different filters on her phone on her sister and I think that they were like joking around and doing them on us. No, you didn't catch what happened? They didn't know who we, they thought we were somebody because we had a camera. Oh, we're they, nobody. <laughs> they did it after they saw you vlogging, so they thought we were somebody. Uh. Jokes on them. <laughs> <laughs> um, it is way You're too really late, done. but we got. Ten. It is before ten, but I, I gotta go run still. Look at this mirror. We were talking to Kennedy, a DBC <laughs> cast member, about. All of his, he's been on so many cruises, he used to run 5Ks, he's convinced that our friend Steve and him, between Steve, the Kennedy, and our friends that we're going to have dinner with tomorrow, they're going to convince us to be on a Disney cruise before January. Do you, did you forget where we parked? No, we're right here. Because I could see the Timon from the car because I was like, hey look, Timon. But since we're in a parking garage, <laughs> Because those are in Disney outside of Disney Springs. I never thought I'd see the day. Um, we're already well, at our car. We're gonna go on a Disney cruise. Okay, so we are home now. And you would never have known it from how excited we were for Sanaa, but like literally four or five hours ago, we were laying in our room, like not knowing what to do for dinner, like almost just like giving up. And I still can't believe we've had that incredible dinner we're home but i dilly dallied trying to tell myself i wasn't going to go on a run but sarah can put a picture in here of my fancy chart and sarah is implementing her ocd and to boost up my ocd by saying that i can't miss my day of running because it's going to mess up my fancy not fancy my basic dot chart of all my runs so I will be back in about 40 minutes. You get so mad when Peter leaves. She's gonna go under the bed. Typically she'll like lay out by the door until he gets home. If she's sleepy enough, she will come to bed just with me, but she likes everybody in their place. She'll do the daily message. The first to apologize is the bravest. 
The first to forgive is the strongest. The first to forget is the happiest. Anonymous. Eve totally just ran out of the room. Should probably wait for Peter at the door. But um, it was a really good, unexpected little dinner date night. We're actually gonna go out to dinner again tomorrow with some friends who are in town at the Swan at a restaurant we've never been at before. So that is super exciting. Um, and halfway through the week, it's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.